Hi guys, so another quick tip for you guys here. I um, just want to emphasize the importance of locking your tracks once you've beat gridded them. Um, so if you look on the screen here, you can see there is a little lock feature. So once you know you've got your beat grids locked in perfectly, definitely recommend you lock the tracks here. A um, number of reasons, but the, the main one being, if we're playing a track here, and uh, the track is not locked, we're basically um, going to, if we want to press shift to do anything, we run the risk, as shift acts as the tap whilst in play mode there, we run the risk of changing the beat grid. As you can see, when we tap it a few times, it changes the beat grid. So let's stop that, and we're going to reset the grid, and uh, pop it back to normal again. And uh, when we press lock, now we can press play, and we can quite happily press shift and uh, it not change anything about the beat grid. So another reason for you to just keep your lock um, tracks um, for all the beat grids there once you've got your grids locked in.